Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing a, I guess it's not there, but I'm going to be doing a uh, another presidential election prediction this time between um, the two shadow candidates in my mind in each party, Gavin Newsom and the Democrat Party. Obviously, uh, you know, really it seems like hoping that Joe Biden, uh, when something happens with Joe Biden and he, he seems vulnerable and Newsom can take the reins to become the nominee. And then of course Ron DeSantis in the Republican Party because uh, obviously, the two, uh, the both president and current former president, are running to be the nominee, and then you have these two shadow candidates of Newsom and DeSantis, who look to take over their respective parties after um, the current heads of the party, I guess you could say, decide not to run. But these are the two candidates. It could be in a twenty twenty eight match. Obviously, so much changes in four years, but you never know with these two people who very very ambitious uh, politicians. Um, before I begin this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, check out my other videos, like and comment your thoughts on my election prediction. I'm going to be trying to make quicker election prediction videos and, you know, spend less time on just talking and more on the prediction. So safe Democrat states are going to be the usual. And I'm not going to be, you know, super specific with margins, even though obviously, as I say, Vermont is a much more Democrat state than Connecticut, but it doesn't matter. So 180 for uh, Newsom, and then for Ron DeSantis, uh, we're going to go down. And I'm actually going to characterize a few states. Well, I kind of gave it away, but I'm going to character. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to characterize Florida as safe. Actually, it's so difficult to decide. In the national level, I'm not going to, um, but it's going to be likely. Because Ron DeSantis won Florida by such a significant margin that, oh, my bad, I forgot about Maine first, that it's just it just seems, you know, very likely that he would win by a safer likely margin again in the presidential election likely democrats colorado new mexico virginia minnesota all likely democrat states as well as maine at large um likely republican go with florida texas ohio iowa ohio and iowa of course trending more republican ever since donald trump florida with DeSantis as the nominee definitely and texas i still believe will remain there especially with gavin newsom as the nominee a lot of people flee tex flee california to go to texas so he really has it going from and main second congressional district so very very close electoral map at the moment as we head into the lean democrat states um firstly democrat state is new hampshire i don't think that ron DeSantis will bode particularly well in the northeast uh aside from the fact of winning Main second with all of those, you know, whatever you would call it, blue, uh, white, blue collar workers, the opposite, whatever it is. Newsom will also win uh, Nebraska second by a lean margin. And on top of that, the state of Michigan by a lean margin, getting him the 241 electoral votes. Lean margins for Ron DeSantis are going to be including North Carolina. You're going to be including Nevada. I do believe at this point in time, Nevada will shift into the lean category with the DeSantis as the nominee and the fact that the party and state is morphing in such a way that it is becoming more Republican. Um, that's going to be it for the lean states, the final four, as usual, go in the tilt margin. Um, let's go with tilt Democrat. Um, I believe that the state of Georgia is going to tilt in favor of Gavin Newsom, just because historically, uh, Georgia has continued to be trending in that direction. And I think it will continue to Wisconsin will tilt Republican. Pennsylvania will tilt Republican, giving DeSantis the presidency. And I also believe Arizona, uh, Ron DeSantis will beat Gavin Newsom in Arizona as well. So an incredibly close election. Uh, the Rust Belt, of course, halfway going to the Democrats, halfway going to the Republicans. DeSantis narrowly edges out a win. But Pennsylvania and Wisconsin especially are the two Rust Belt states that are the most vulnerable for the Democrats. Those are the states that Joe Biden won uh, with the smallest margins and the, the states that I believe, of course, are going to be the, the easiest to fall. So anyway, this is what the final map would look like, shifting as you people look at those trend shifts over time. You know, you can see the Southwest, I guess, well, honestly, I guess kind of becoming a little bit more Republican from the last two election cycles, especially the last one, because Biden won Nevada and Arizona. You can see that the Rust Belt over time has now become more Republican. Georgia has shifted as a Democrat state. Um, and yeah, that's really what we see at the moment. 281, Ron DeSantis elected president over Gavin Newsom at this point in time. That's really all I have for you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, comment below your thoughts on my election prediction, and have a great day. See you all soon.